In this video, I'm going to explain to you how to set alarm input based recording. First, you want to make sure that you have an alarm input properly configured into the back on your recorder from us and that your recorder supports alarm inputs. That's number one. Number two, here's how to go and configure alarm input based recording on your recorder. First is you go into this alarm menu. You get there by, if you're logged into the web interface, you click on this desktop thing and then click on alarm. It'll bring you here. Click on alarm in port. This is for alarm input. You could um, select the alarm input port. Depending on your NVR, you may have one through four ports or one through six or more. Depends on the model and the specifications that are stated on the product description. Select the port enable it you can give it a name if you want and the device type normal opens means that the device is normally open check the specifications of your device second thing is go to schedule and make sure all of this is highlighting by default it will be for all of the days it'll be red that's fine and then after that you want to make sure you set a post record setting for 10 seconds it's all these are all default settings and make sure then you hit record record channel if you don't do this it's not going to record any channel so i have an eight camera nvr here i can choose to record all eight cameras or just a few if you don't do this there's going to be no video being recorded it's just going to sense there was an alarm triggered and it'll keep a log of it but that's pretty much it uh, they offer also the ability to record snapshots. Uh, it's configurable as well. We have a write-up on that separately. This is just to show you how to enable record channels for video. You can play around with these things if you want. Tour is basically what cameras are being displayed on your monitor, your HDMI monitor output from the NVR. PTZ linkage, you could do this fancy if you want to enable a preset on a PTZ. It has that ability as well. And if you had a speaker connected, you can actually even send out, actually this is an alarm tone from the built-in speaker inside the NVR. To, to basically buzz you and let you know that, hey, something's happening. There's some other stuff where show message displays a message on your NVR. Um, HDMI output buzzer, just is a regular speaker buzzer inside the NVR log by default there. It can send you even a uh, email to let you know that uh, someone has uh, triggered that alarm. Anti-dither is after how many seconds that alarm would automatically close. All right, once you set this up, hit save or press OK. So make sure your record channel is enabled for whatever video channels you want to be able to record. Second thing is you go here again, go to storage, and actually you're going to go here on the setting menu, go to storage. You have to enable in two places. First thing is record mode for that channel that you want to enable alarm recording. You have to set the mainstream to auto if you want to record the mainstream alarm input. And the substream, you could leave it as manual if you want to record all the time regardless of what alarm inputs or motion detection or auto. In my case, I'm going to leave it as manual the way it was. But you need to have the, at least the mainstream set to auto so you can start recording automatically when the alarm goes on. That's the logic here. Then you go into schedule for that channel. You're then going to enable alarm-based recording. So alarm, in my case, is not highlighted here. If I wanted to add it, I would go to settings. And I would go to all the days I want to enable alarm-based recording on and press alarm now it added that red bar to all the days of my recording so now it's going to start recording whenever there's an alarm triggered and then you would hit ok and that's pretty much it those are three things you need to do uh, to enable recording in my case i'm not this is just for demonstration purposes i'm not going to hit ok but you should if you want to record and now the other thing is that i'm going to recap this is the most important Although this is channel one, that doesn't mean that's camera one. It's what camera number you select here that's going to get recorded. And then you have to select its channel number here to set the schedule to include alarm-based recording on there. And then also on the record mode, you got to set mainstream uh, to be auto for that channel. Thanks for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, please don't forget to subscribe and like this video.